Hello everyone, welcome back to Pumpkin Horror. Now as I mentioned before, uh, I did build a uh, bookshelf for my masks, but didn't realize upon seeing my traditional bookshelves that I built a while back, that they were in fact 6x5 and not by 5 x five 5 Glad I got that out. But anyway, these are actually 6x5s as you can see right here. And they're a little bit more elaborate. They got molding. This one here is just for the mask. I didn't want to put too much effort into it. But it is in fact inside right now. And as you can see, it is a little bit uh, shorter. But I believe it's much more appropriate. So when I put my bigger masks on top, it'll work out just fine. Okay. And that's my speaker. Okay. I got these big stack speakers for my uh, surround sound more or less. And my stereo, obviously. And I got a mask on the shelf right now. And as you can see, it's a work in progress. I'm going to arrange it. And right here on this small shelf, I will be putting my Funko Pops. All my horror figures. So I will be back with the finalized results. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we're back with another uh, stage of, should I say, evolutionary change in the room. We did pull out all the shelves back here. Alright, and we took this apothecary, which was sitting there right next to the TV, and sli slid it over. We're going to put the uh, tan shelf right next to it on the right-hand side, and the black one on this side. And it should work out right. Right now, the wife is trying to figure out the wiring configuration, because over the years, I've accrued a bunch of wiring. Plugging in things, and unplugging things. But anyway, this is what it looks like so far. Okay. Okay, that's the There's the wall wire. mass over there, if you can see them. I don't know if you can see them or not. Good, yeah. All right. That's the top tree. One. Everything will be eventually rearranged. Can I? All right. So far, this is what the shelf looks like for the masks. Okay. What is this? All right. I still got some stuff to put on yet, and I will give you the final results here once we get this straightened out. Okay. We'll be back in a second. Okay. We're gonna start off with this little guy. I got it from um, Target about two years ago. Lights up orange, very cool. I love pumpkins, and as you can see, it is a very cool looking pumpkin. All right, so now what we're going to do is kind of move around the room a little bit, show you the many different things that I've done so far. A little bit of rearranging was necessary. Now, up here on the ceiling, okay, hang on there. Okay, I did manage to hang up my uh, ghosts and my reapers, okay, and I still left the haunted houses, the paintings, they do light up and make sound effects left them alone and my Friday the 13th sign there can't go wrong with that okay over here's the day of the dead okay all right now over here I was gonna put my old uh, dollar masks down here but I decided not to do that because it shakes the shelf a little too much I might do it one day if I get bored but everything here is pretty much the same okay gotta move this uh, view viewer all right now up here at the top, obviously the speaker, okay, because I got two stacked speakers along with some bows. Great sound effects for my uh, surround sound. But anyway, I got the spider hanging up, okay. Down here on the shelf right here, I do have some of my Halloween stuff. And those figures in the back that make sound effects, they make all kinds of sound effects. Same kind. Each one of them make the same kind. These guys right here are screamers. You can get these from um, um, Spirit Halloween. And they make sound effects. Ready? Yeah, right. There you go. Alright. I got a bunch from there, as you can see right here. I collected them through the years. Okay. Now, down here are my skulls. Not all of them, but enough of them. Alright. And down here is my Day of the Dead collection. Alright. Let me get my handle on this thing. So I can see what I need doing here. All right, getting down a little bit lower here, as you can see. These are all a bunch of chopsticks that I collected through the years. I love Chinese food. All right, day of the dead. Down here, some more stuff. This pumpkin's cool. Okay, and down here, my Ahmed and some other Halloween stuff. Okay, I don't know if you can see them. I'm sorry if they're a little too dark. Okay. Over here, this hasn't changed. I just kind of moved this particular stand with my stereo and everything. Just shifted it over. Okay. 
Still got my Halloween uh, Big Lots uh, prop here. It's still very cool. The uh, Apothecary, Witch's Apothecary. Okay, and that's pretty much still the same. Okay. Alright, there you go. Bing, bing, bing. Now, move it over to the next shelf. Alright, hang on for a second. Let me move this out of the way. Move it over to the other side here for a second. And then we'll move it back. Start at the bottom here. Okay. All right. Down here, if you can see them, they're uh, candelabras and a spider. Moving up here is all my glittery stuff. Okay. And along the sides here, these do light up, in fact. Forgot to turn them on, so we're going to do that real quick here, guys. There we go. All right, so now you see that they're lit up. The little tiny pumpkins, I can't remember, I think I got them from Target. You get them for like three bucks, so they come in bundles. Okay, now here on this shelf right here, okay, is a bunch of other stuff. The witch is in, up here at the top, is my witch collection and my uh, trolls that are, resemble witches. Okay, down here, okay, that's a Grim Reaper, that's actually a bong, for those who, who know what those are. I got that given to me years ago, and I just never got rid of it, okay? But anyway, and I haven't used it in a uh, better part of 10 years. Anyway, it is what it is, okay? All right, this pumpkin here lights up. It's cool, okay? Up towards the back is my spooky tree here, okay? It is cool. Like I said, the darkness, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, let's move over to the next shelf here. I got a bunch of stuff here, okay? As you can see here, I got my cameras. Down here is a diorama that I actually made out of styrofoam for the very first time. Put all my small stuff on it. Okay, now down here on the floor, I got that from Big Lots a few years ago. Hang on, let me get this out of the way here. And I'm going to show you the witch's hat first, okay? Okay, that's the witch's hat, all right? Unfortunately, because I moved the shelves over to this wall here, I don't have a place to put this, so... It's there temporarily. This right here does light up. It's like beware, no trespassing. And this is some of my Halloween collection pumpkins because I love pumpkins. Okay, let me get down here a little bit so you can see them down here. All right. All right, we're getting to the Halloween tree. I've had this up for about a year now. I bought it last year and I'm going to show you what that looks like. This guy is cool too. All right, back there some mummy, okay. Okay, some pagan prayer beads and stuff. And this right here is my spirit board. I don't use it, I don't practice. Uh, not 100% positive that it actually works. You've seen a lot of YouTube videos out there. People have strange occurrences. But obviously there's no technical real proof. But anyway, it makes for an interesting uh, video to watch. My witch... The mummy up in the back. Okay, now here's my Halloween tree. Start from the bottom, work our way up. All right. Now I'm going to plan on doing something a little different this year with it. Okay. And it's got some spiders and some witch's hats in it. And on top is yet another witch's hat. Okay. You can get these from Cracker Barrel for like 20 bucks. Well worth it. They look cool. And these little branches things here. You can get them from Michaels, but they're expensive. Anything in Michaels is a little overpriced in my opinion, but you got some of the coolest stuff there. This right here is my fiber optic Halloween tree. Okay, and my Ouija skull. And that's cool looking right there. And my devil dogs. Me love some devil dogs. Okay, now up here at the top, I'm going to show you my collection of uh, horror figures. As well as my Godzilla figures, you're going to see all that, okay? So we're going to scan across. See a lot of King Kong here. Coming down. Let me move in a little bit so you can see it. All my NECA figures, okay? Sam. From Trick or Treat. Very cool character, okay? And this right here is the old phone from uh, Pan's Labyrinth. That's another cool character. Funko Pops. I got some more on the bookshelf. I'll show you that last. I'm going to show you all my masks that I've gotten so far. 
Okay, and these are my Funko Pops. I got some Godzilla Funko Pops because I'm a big Godzilla fan, King Kong, Kaiju fan, you know. Alright. Down here is my Alien Collection. Get past the uh, tree here. Okay. Okay, dropping down to the next shelf is also a collection of Alien. And I also got some Star Trek too. Okay. Getting around these trees, I'm paying them. But I got some, um, 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 they're Clive Barker characters. Um, okay, it escapes me, but I apologize about that. But they're very cool looking characters. It might come back to me. And then I got some Predators too, as well. Now, down below, some miscellaneous stuff. All right, and I got my Hulk and Abomination collection. Down below, these are Marvel Selects. Very cool, very heavy figures, okay? Now, the tablecloth here, as you can see, is very cool. Alright. I'll tell you what, this thing is huge. I had to double up on it. Because it's dragging on the floor. Alright. Moving around. Getting to the other shelf. Now, these shelves here, I thought were 5x5, five five, but come to find out, they're actually 6x5s. And my other shelf, you're going to see, is a little bit shorter. It was a... Honest mistake, but not a drastic one. Okay, up at the top, Mecha Godzilla. Lots of Godzillas up here, guys. Up there is my dragon. That's freaking cool. Okay, and down here I got some small collection of kaiju stuff. Now, these are usually called um, Gashapons. Kind of scan through them real quick. This guy is really cool right there. Alright, and here's my NECA collection of Godzillas. Alright, and I got some way up in the corner there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Move this guy out of the way. Come down here to the other part of the uh, NECA collection. I got just about every NECA uh, figure based on Godzilla. With the exception of maybe one or two. And unfortunately, NECA no longer has the copyrights to Godzilla, so they're not going to be making no more Godzilla figures. Okay, and then down here, some more. Yes, I do have a huge collection of Godzilla stuff, guys. All the way up in the back is some Gamma stuff. I know it's dark, I, imp I apologize. And then here's some more Bandai's. And then we're going to get into my mask shelf, okay? And down here is a huge collection of Ultraman. If you're into Ultraman, now these are the shit. Okay, these are Ultra 500 series. They're roughly about five to seven dollars a piece. Well worth collecting. Down here, if you can see them, uh, some more kaiju stuff, and around the big Godzilla, King Kong, some Destroyer Space Godzilla. This is in fact my uh, largest Godzilla that I have. It is a Concord 1989 Bio Bio Biolante Godzilla, or you know, 1989 Godzilla. Uh, it is a Concord version. There is also a Paradise Mold uh, that they actually do paint this one in green. And it looks cool for the most part. But I ended up getting this for like 60, 70 bucks like 10 years ago from uh, Greensboro Coliseum. And it's, I've had it in my collection ever since. Okay, now let's move up here. And then we're going to touch base on the new shelf. We'll talk about that next. Oh, by the way, before we get into that, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's all my staffs right there in the corner. Okay, let's get into the shelf here, okay? We're going to start off with the masks. This right here is Scareborn. Okay, I just got that maybe about it last week. Very popular on Facebook. I posted it. Everybody says, oh my God, that's creepy. That's cool looking. They're asking where to get it, so I posted the link. And I'm not sure if I'm getting any more responses from it. But that is a very cool looking mask. But it is small as you can see. So if you have a big head, I don't recommend you buying this. Just buy it just for aesthetic reasons. Like I'm displaying mine. That's exactly why I buy mine. Creature from the Black Lagoon, 1954, Trick or Treat Studios. This one here when I actually wore it. Uh, the peripherals, because of the eyes, very small eye holes. You can't see right or left unless you shift the mask. It's not a good mask to wear, in all honesty, okay? But it is a very cool looking mask to display. These are ceramic, and they're not technically masks. You can actually display them outside. I got them like three years ago at CVS. 
uh, I ended up picking up this one first and I said to myself if I don't go back that other one's going to be missing so I went back 15 minutes later and got this one here and got lucky and found it there this is my biggest mask so far it is a Frankenstein mask I got it from Fright Catalog that company just disappeared one day and never and we never seen them uh, this one here cost me like 80 90 dollars for it back in the day that was like 15 years ago when I bought that thing too all right now let's move down here to my uh, body knockers and my no they're uh, yeah body knockers and bobbleheads there we go okay and then we're gonna roll right into my Funko Pop that are horror collection okay as you can see I got a couple of the Sam's Chucky Pennywise now we're gonna get into the Funko Pops I got some killer clowns up in the back there okay Wait a minute for a second here guys. It's going to take some time to rearrange this thing. So keep that in mind. we got a nice collection of Funko Pops. As you've seen on the other shelf. And this one here as well. Now we're going to get into, I think they're called Terror Toonies. Sometimes they're kind of confusing or it's a Toonie Terror. I think they're Toonie Terrors. So this one here is the Creeper. Okay, I had it on one of these stands right here. Right here. But unfortunately, it started keeling over. I was like, what the heck? So I got to figure out a different way to get him to stand. But anyway, Grady Twins. And we got Michael up in the back. And we got some Jason up in the back. They have a very unique cartoonish uh, look about them. This one here is Reagan. She is puking. Okay, this one here is the coolest one in my bu uh, bunch. And I'll tell you what about Scream or Ghostface. I was never really into him. Into him. I just figured he's just a serial killer dressing up like a... Uh, a ghost face, right? But as of late, I had changed my mind about that, changed my opinion about it. So I do collect that stuff, and I'm going to show you that in a second here. Pennywise's, the new one and the old one, okay? Well, the 1996 one. Let's jump down here to the next shelf, which in fact is my demon mask. All right, got to get the viewer so I can actually see it. Now, it will get dark. I'm sorry about that. Okay, but that's my demon mask. I got it like 10 years ago, and I honestly don't know where I got it from. I think it was Party City or something. Ghostface. It is the Fun World version. Cheap one, 10 bucks. Got it. That's because, you know, just to have it in your collection. This will eventually be moved back to the wall. It is my Plague Doctor mask. Not mask. My Plague Doctor hat. I will eventually move it back to the other wall because I got another mask coming in probably Wednesday. We'll do a review on that once it comes in, okay? This one here is a steampunk version of the Plague Doctor. Okay, now towards the back there, if you can actually see it, there's tubes. They're like hair in the back. It looks very cool if you wear a Renaissance type jacket. It really does stand out. And because it's a half mask, it's very easy to breathe, okay? Okay, now this guy right here, I believe it is, let me see, yeah. Okay, this one here is a Universal Studios version of Frankenstein. Okay, it seems like it's crooked, but it's not. It's just me. Uh, and that's what it is right there, okay? Uh, most people, when they actually buy these masks, uh, they got a bunch of different ones, these YouTubers. Some of them just seriously collect Frankenstein masks. I do, too, for the most part. You're going to see a lot of them here, but I do got a variety as well. Frankenstein slash zombie mask. Okay, I got this one Spirit Halloween for like $35 at the time. It was a couple of years ago. It's worth it in my opinion. It's got some very cool looking detail. This one is the Ruby's version. And unfortunately when I got it. Okay. You can see the eye here. I had to kind of reheat it. It's still messed up. As you can see. Uh, it came in defective. So I had to trim it up a bit. But I'm still going to try to figure out how to get it shaped. So it looks pretty much normal. Alright. So yeah. Alright. Moving down to the next shelf. Okay, now this here is part of the um, season of the witch, uh, Halloween 3. Okay, these are the antagonists in the movie. There is no Michael Myers other than a simple cameo that you see when they're walking by this television set. That's when you see Michael Myers. That's the only time you see him in the movie. But this is a pretty good movie. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it's not Michael Myers. Okay, yeah, you're going to get those kind of fans. Anyway, all right, this here is the pumpkin, okay? And this right here is the skeleton. I think this is the coolest one of the bunch. Even though this one here seems to be the most popular one of the bunch. It got dark. There we go. Okay. Michael Myers, 2018. Okay. 
Uh, I will pull back so you can actually see the whole shelf. Um, 2018, not for big headed guys like myself. Will not fit you, I don't care what you say. Unless you super stretch it, you will rip the uh, latex. Not a good thing, it's made for kids, okay? This one's the 1978 version, okay? That one works perfect, okay? It's made for big headed guys like ourselves. The knife, okay, can you see it there, okay? This guy right here is the boogeyman. I just got that probably the other day, and I did a video on it, it's sitting on this channel. This is another um, kind of scarecrow type situation. And he's very cool, very teethy looking. Now down here are my clown masks. This one here is kind of like a uh, roared up uh, Gene Simmons. He's cool looking. This guy here is really zany looking. You can pull back so you can see it. Kind of like a Stratego or a vampire type uh, mask here. Alright, let me pull back so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dark down here. I'm sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's another Frankenstein mask. This one here, if you can see it, okay? I'm not too keen on the big mouth wide open thing there. You got to make up your chin and your lips and stuff like that. I didn't expect that, so I was like, ugh. It's okay, but it's got a cool look otherwise. This is a pumpkin dude, okay? I'm going to pull him out because it's too damn dark right now. All right, now. Whoa, 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 hang on guys, let me get my, all right, there we go, styrofoam heads are hard to hold on to, there you go guys, that's what it looks like, all right, all right, so now I'm going to put this down and show you the actual shelf, and I'll be right back guys. Give me a problem. Okay, we're back. I was struggling a little bit with that mask. So now I'm going to show you the actual um, shelf that I just built from, you know, back further so you understand what it looks like. I will tell you this. It's uh, one of those type of situations where you can't find these kind of things online. So you honestly got to build the dang things. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, now. And that is what she looks like right there, guys. Now, that's my collection so far based on the masks. Okay, and before we do that, let me get over here to the wall here. I don't know if you can actually see them. Okay, there is a bunch of paintball masks. And I got some Play Doctor masks. I'll show you them in a separate video, okay? But anyway, you get an idea of what's on that wall, okay? Back to the shelf. Okay, now as you can see, because there's one shelf right here, all right, is a little small, so I just put my Funko Pops on there and my um, body knockers. Okay, all right, there we go, and that's it right there, guys. Okay, sorry about the way I was struggling with the camera and stretching and bending, but you get the idea what this mask shelf looks like. It is hand built. I we stained it, and obviously we put a little uh, varnish on. Not varnish. I keep saying varnish polyurethane okay and that's what she looks like so far okay speaker okay up at the top of the speaker is pinhead okay well that's it for my walkthrough hope you guys enjoyed this and if you need a bookshelf like that your best bet is to go ahead and build one if you're into collecting masks you can get the box cues but that tends to be a little more expensive it's cheaper to build your own but right now the price of wood is getting really ridiculously high priced so if you're thinking about doing something like this, you might want to jump on it fast, okay? Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. Once that mask comes in, we will definitely do a video on that. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good night.